So today I'm about to try to do something I've never done before. We're going to, excuse this junk garage too, there's shit everywhere. <laughs> but <laughs> we're going to put my new handlebars on. I ain't never did a bar job on a Harley. So, uh. bars on as you can see they're taller than I thought they were gonna be looks like I am gonna have to replace throttle cables the brake line and find an extension for the speedo but that's gonna be a process and I got a few weeks to do it so I'm done with this bike for today let's go ride yeah I needed a ride y'all need it a good old fall beautiful weather ride it's like 71 degrees had to bring a motorcycle out i tried to take the ducati out but the other like week i think a week or two ago i was riding her and she shut off on me and then wouldn't start back up so i found out today i think the battery terminal is loose on her and the part that sucks is the fact that that battery is under the gas tank so i gotta take off the entire gas tank cover which is a ton of screws and it's a pain in the butt then lift the gas tank up sit it on like a table just to tighten up the battery it's a pain so i'm probably not gonna do that for like another couple weeks because i got the diner taken apart and i'm working on that right now i just don't have enough room in the garage to work on multiple bikes at the same time we got to do it one at a time maybe once i get the handlebars all the way on the diner i'll pull it in the parking and then back the Ducati out and work on the loose battery. But at least I got Harley, or I could have rode Betty Boop, my mini bike. This is actually my first time putting handlebars on a Harley. And it's not easy. It ain't ridiculously hard. It's not like you can't do it, but not that the bars are on there. The hard part is all the wiring, getting the right length, because I'm gonna need a new brake cable. I'm gonna need some things for it. And getting all those together and getting them on the bike is a pain. Like if I was in a rush to do this, I would have taken it to the shop, but I wanted to be able to say I put handlebars on my bike myself for a change. So I got them mounted up. I got the Bung King risers, they're six inch risers, and the ODI handlebars, which I think they look pretty good. They actually up a little bit higher than Harley's bars here, which I thought they were gonna be lower because I only went with six inch risers, but they're actually, like maybe an inch below shoulder height if not exactly at shoulder height so they're taller than i actually wanted them but they'll work i just got to get new throttle cables and everything on there not really in a rush because uh, the bike's parts are down in florida getting painted and i can't pick those up for a few weeks anyway so there's no rush with the handlebar job i get to take my time and that's pretty cool the hard part's going to be depinning all of these wires that I want to run through the handlebars. And I found out that my speedometer wire or cable is too short. It won't reach. So I'm gonna have to extend those cables some kind of way. I'm hoping I don't have to like 
cut the wires and solder them because I hate doing that. But if I have to, I have to. I'm excited. I finally got to ride an Indian Challenger as well as the Indian Chief. If y'all watch um, a few of my videos back, you'll see I was out on the Indians. That's pretty awesome. I actually like the Chief quite a bit. I think the Chief is a great motorcycle. The Challenger, not a huge fan of because the fit and finish of it kind of sucked in my opinion. But the Chief, the Chief was solid all the way around. I like that bike and it had a lot of power and performance, man. I don't know if it has as much power and performance as Harley here, but I'm probably gonna say that anyway because of the amount of money I put into her and her motor but yeah this is the boo right here this is the boo i know y'all were probably hoping that i filmed the entire process of installing the handlebars on uh, the dyna but it's just it's just it's too difficult to film and do that especially when i'm by myself trying to do everything i did have it set up on a time lapse but then the time lapse died or something they cut off the gopro battery went out uh so i don't know how much footage of that i ended up getting you know before i know because it's at the beginning of this video how much footage i got working on it but let me know what do y'all think of how the bars looked on the bike i'm not loving this daylight savings crap that they like to do where it gets completely dark by five o'clock now that really messes up my riding time because i'm not a fan of riding in the dark because i got a horrible stigmatism and light just does not agree with my eyes when it's coming dead at me at night it just don't agree but there'll be more to come i may actually film depending or at least tell y'all how i depend the wires and how i get them through the bars i might do that i might not it just depends on how spontaneously it just depends on how spontaneous i am when i do the job sometimes i get bored and i just jump in there and start working on stuff if that's the case i probably won't film it but if i plan it out then i'll film it but if i do another handlebar job since i'll be familiar with it after this i'll definitely film that it's just the first time around i'm literally winging it i have no clue what i'm doing i ain't got no directions i couldn't find a solid youtube video that showed me how to do it so i just went in there and said let's try some stuff and luckily it worked out but i'm gonna ride a little bit more here today and then i'm um I'm gonna go head back to the house. I might bleed the brakes out so I can figure out what size brake line I'm gonna need for the bike. If I would have went one inch shorter, like five inch risers, I'd have been solid. I wouldn't have needed no cables, but I went with the six inch. And then the rise on my handlebars are 3.75. So it's basically like a 10 inch rise I got on there. Luckily, there is so much cable tucked up under in that frame of the motorcycle it's a ridiculous amount that i'm able to have enough um of the cables that run to my switch housings i don't have to extend those at least as of right now i don't think so all right but make sure you're subscribed to the channel like this video stay tuned for all the updates on the dyna build i am so excited I've already got some more parts on the way that I just couldn't hold off on. So those should be here shortly. This bike is going to be so epic and done so right. Well, as right as I can do it. <laughs>